Hi, I'm Charlie Starr. The video you are about to watch is part of my free course, How to Read a Birth Chart. Signing up is easy. Simply subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and shoot me an email to the address in the description box below, letting me know you want to be enrolled. I will reply with a welcome email, including the syllabus and other free course materials. Then head on over to my channel page and find the How to Read a Birth Chart free course playlist. Hit play and follow the step-by-step -step instructions to become a true birth chart master. And now, back to this video. Okay, so you have just gotten to the end of module one, so congratulations. So module one, there were really no flashcards that we needed to make. Essentially, module one served as a good introduction to the birth chart. Now in module two, we're really going to start getting into the meat of how to interpret a birth chart. So now is the time to for sure get out your flashcard study guide because there are going to be things that you should be making flashcards of and memorizing to make sure that we know this information before we move on to module three. So what we're going to be learning in module two is the following. We are going to answer the question, what is the zodiac belt? We are also going to take a look at the 12 divisions of tropical astrology. We'll touch briefly on the sidereal uh, zodiac, which is used in Vedic astrology, which is not what we're learning here, but it's important to understand the difference between the two zodiacs. And also we'll touch briefly on constellation astrology and what do we do with the 13th constellation in the zodiac belt. And then we're going to be learning about modalities. Every sign has one of three modalities, cardinal, fixed, and mutable. Where do these ideas come from and how do they affect the energy of the sign? We're going to be learning the 12 signs, obviously. And then we're going, also going to be adding the four ancient elements and understanding what those ancient elements are about, water, earth, fire, and air, and how that fits into the zodiac wheel. Then we're going to be learning about all of the planets. Okay, so this is going to be the sun, the moon, Mercury, Mars, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Pluto, and Uranus. Let's get right into it. 